Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, my name is Plummy and in this episode of Ray the K I'm gonna be reacting to SM's new girl group Aespa and their debut title track Black Mamba. Uh, I gotta say I am pretty excited to check out this song because I wanna see what uh, the group that is basically SM's response to GYP's Itzy and YG's Black being going to bring to the K-pop table. I'm really hoping that maybe uh, they have a very unique sound, maybe similar to NCT sound or similar to how different NCT sound is from other girl, uh, boy groups to sound, but we'll see what uh, is going to happen with that. Uh, but before we get into the reaction to the song, there are two things that I have to do. First of all, I just want to quickly remind you to like this video if you end up enjoying it and maybe even subscribe to the channel and check out some of my other videos because uh, as you can see by the title of this video, this is like the 300 and something K-pop reaction that I've done, so maybe check out some of my other videos. And also if you end up enjoying it, uh, maybe uh, go and check out my Patreon where you can pledge your support and support me so I can keep re uh, doing these uh, K-pop reactions and other videos as well. Because even though I would keep doing these kinds of videos even if I never make a penny out of my YouTube channel, it would really help out a lot uh, supporting me because I could focus more on doing these uh, videos and maybe even more frequently because this year I haven't really been able to do as much K-pop reactions as last year and that pretty much comes up to the fact that I'm still not making money off of this YouTube channel. So yeah, the second thing that I have to quickly address, so I'm not gonna say everything that I have to say about it, is Aespa's concept. And if you don't know what it is, which why the hell would you be in this video if you didn't, but anyway, it's some kind of like a virtual member concept, like uh, it's very much a ripoff of KDA, and I don't necessarily mean it in a bad way, like I'm not re uh, calling out ISP or anything, but it very much is a ripoff of what KDA is doing, uh, because uh, KDA is doing virtual avatars, this group is doing virtual avatars, but this group is also supposedly gonna have these virtual avatars be actual members of the group, or so I've heard. I don't know how true that statement is, but I guess maybe you could explain it to me in the comments because I'm still a little bit confused about the concept. But uh, my problems with this virtual avatar thing is that they're not doing it uh, in the same way that KDA is. KDA is just using it as virtual avatars in the music videos and I think the virtual avatars are also like uh, in-game character for the game that they are promoting with their music, aka League of Legends. Well, in this case, uh, having these virtual uh, avatars, I'm not really sure what exactly they're promoting with that. Uh, supposedly, again, they are supposed to be members of the group, which I don't really get why would they, why would SM want to do that? I know that people love that SM is this experimental company, but I think this virtual member stuff is not something that I want K-pop companies to play with because imagine when they take it even further. If this ends up being successful, if this is exactly what uh, uh, they're saying it is or what I've heard it is in terms of the concept with like the virtual members or whatever, 30 years from now all K-pop groups might be just virtual members and virtual idols. Do you really want that to be the K-pop 30 years from now? I personally don't, but I know that my, I might be a little bit fear mongering here, so I don't know how true this statement about uh, uh, SM's intention with the virtual avatars is, so I'm not gonna delve into it too much. Uh, but I guess the biggest thing that bothers me about the virtual members so far is the way how, uh, at least in the teasers, they seem to be using them as a way to sexualize the idols. Because, at least in my eyes, from what I saw of the teasers of this group and like the pictures specifically, the virtual uh, 
avatars seem to be so much more sexualized and they are wearing much skimpier clothing. And again, this might be just my prudishness and my dislike for over sexualization, even if it uh, the girls wish to dress like that, but let's face it, it's K-pop, it's not up to them. Uh, it just bothers me how overly sexualized it is, it's blatant, honestly. But, I don't know, ultimately I just think it's a stupid concept. I don't mind the idea of like this virtual world and maybe uh, the virtual avatars being a representative of their concept of them maybe being virtual characters in a virtual world or something like that. Uh, but I just think the idea or, or some of the stuff that I heard from K-pop fans and on Reddit about exactly what SM is trying to do with these virtual avatars, it just screams bad. It just screams bad idea. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to delve into it too much. I mainly care about the music, so let's get into the song and see how I'm gonna feel about it in 3, 2, 1. Okay, I already really like the colorful and shiny outfits. And yeah, as I already mentioned, they very much feel like feel and look like uh, response to Itzy and Blackpink. Like even outfit wise, I can easily see Itzy wearing these kind of like, outfits. Is it me or th this girl uh, on the right? Uh, looks like one of the members of Ace. She genuinely looked like him. Her face is the exact same. Oh, they mean Black Mamba as the damn snake. Okay, they're using their name in quite a few of the lyrics of this song. And this is some really impressive CGI, if I gotta be honest. <laughs> the fuck is happening? Oh fuck, that's creepy, what the hell? Those hands look so creepy. And before you complain about me comparing them to it, see, they're literally doing a very similar dance to them in in terms of like even the debut music videos. Itzy also had the kind of like dancing on when you're on the floor with your legs stretched. It did the exact same thing, I think, in their debut music video it was. And here come the virtual avatars. You know, there's something freaky that I'm gonna mention in a second. And I really wanna hear your thoughts on it and whether you experience the same thing. What the hell, was Venom here? Man, the CGI in this one is fucking amazing. What the hell is this, Inception? Mm. 
Okay, um, before I forget, I just want to quickly mention Did you have the experience where in some of the shots the real members like not the virtual uh, Avatars the real members looked fucking CGI like that was so weird like especially here towards the end like in the last 20 seconds of the song there were quite a few shots which you could have genuinely, if you told me that it was CGI, I would fucking believe you because it looked so weird. Maybe it's just the way they shot it, it looks CGI, but it's so weird. It's so freaky because they very obviously are the real members, but they look and like the camera moves as if it's CGI, but it's not. But it just fucking confuses my mind. It's kind of like an uncanny valley kind of thing. That's kind of interesting, I guess. But yeah, in terms of the music video, I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, there's a lot of really cool camera work. Uh, and just the CGI is fucking good and amazing. Like, this is one of the best CGI music videos that I've ever seen. Uh, in terms of the outfits, though, I have a little bit of a complaint. And it's something that I already mentioned about the virtual members. That is, I feel like a lot of these outfits in the music video are way too sexualized. Again, it might be my prudishness. Maybe I'm a, a little bit of a prude. I don't know. But it does bother me how short or skimpy some of their outfits are. Maybe it's just me. I'm not saying that they should dress a certain way like or anything like that. But I do have to comment on it. I can't, I can't not to. But other than that, I do like how the outfits look, like I love the coloring and the shininess and how glamorous they look. And as I said, they very much look like the kind of outfits you would see in an Itzy music video, so there's that as well. Well, in terms of the song, I don't know, like it was not, it wasn't a bad song. I did find it catchy, but I feel like it lacked a little bit of an impact. I feel like it could have been a little bit more experimental with its sound and it just could have gone a little bit rougher around the edges because I feel like maybe it was a little bit too polished. Like maybe it has a little bit of the same problem that I have with uh, newer NCT songs where I feel like they're not going as hard or as rough as they used to. I don't know. We're gonna have to listen to it a second time before I decide 100% how I feel about that, but after first listen, that's all my thoughts about it. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get into it one more time in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, the outfits are beautiful, but I feel like they're way too short. Again, maybe it's just me. Okay, I cannot be the only one who's weirded out by that. Like, there's so many shots where they look CGI'd in. Like, that's so weird. Maybe this plays into their concept of like virtual world and maybe blurring the line between virtual and real. That could be interesting, but it's also so weird. I mean, either they're trying this uh, intentionally, or maybe SM has polished their uh, CGI so much that they look like real people. Okay, on second listen, it definitely feels better. It feels much more impactful. Like, I feel like on first listen, it was lacking a little bit of an edge, but on the second listen, it actually works much better. The CGI for this thing is really cool.
That's so creepy. I hate the look of those hands. It's a little disgusting, I'm sorry. glad that they actually didn't overuse the virtual avatars in this mini video. I like that they're being kept like in the background because I was expecting for them to like show it in, in our face pretty much all the time. They're actually being pretty tasteful about it. But yeah, the camera work in this music video is really amazing. Okay, I'm not watching this part of the video. I'm sorry, I already watched it. Okay, so ultimately the song ended up being better than I, what I was expecting was going to be. Um, I mean, I'm not even sure what exactly I expected the song was going to be. I was, the thing that caught my, most of my attention about the Espa was just the stupid concept which barely feels like a thing in the music video. It feels more like, at least in the music video, that they played into maybe the virtual, blurring the line between the virtual and the real world, which I think is interesting, and I, I find that much more interesting than the stupid virtual avatar kind of thing, you know? So, I really hope they don't really develop that side, kind of uh, that side of things. I don't really give a shit about the virtual avatars. I hope they completely get rid of them. I I hate them. I don't give a shit about them. Uh, but yeah, the song uh, on second listen as well felt much better. On the first listen, I felt like it just it felt a little rushed. Like they didn't really think through exactly what they wanted to do with this song and just slapped uh, things that current uh, girl group fans like, like a little bit of Everglow, a little bit of Itzy, a little bit of Blackpink and maybe of some other groups and ended up with this, but on the second listen definitely felt a little bit more like its own thing, but still not quite as standout and impactful as Blackpink or Itzy. I would still rate them uh, third in those three groups. But I still liked it, I still liked it. I'll definitely listen to the song. But it still lacks a little bit of a standout edge to it, you know? Uh, ultimately, the most impressive thing to me about this video is the camera, uh, about this debut, is the camera work and the fact that, you know, lot of these shots the members don't look real like they look as if they are cgi and that freaks me the fuck out so much because it's so weird like they're very clearly well not very clearly but they're clearly real people but the way the camera moves i guess or maybe the way they're just shooting it it's like as if they're cgi'd in and i think that's intentional which i found cool but it also it, it's just that uncanny valley feeling. It's just uh, uncanny valley feeling. It's just weird. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, uh, I'm assuming that there's probably B sides with this because this cannot be a single release. I assume it's not a single release. So I'll definitely be interested to see more music of them because I don't really feel like I can really get what their music is just from one release. Especially because, as I said, it feels a little bit directionless, like as, as if they don't really know exactly what kind of music they're going for, just going by general uh, points uh, that they've laid out, but it's still not a bad song, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, in terms of rating, um, 
I know some people might be a little bit pissed about how low I'm gonna give my lowest score to, but that's just how I feel about it. I think at the very least this song is uh, only a 7.4 out of 10, which I know it's a pretty low score, but it's still in like the height, so I don't think you should complain about that. And at most, it's an 8.7 out of 10. And I know this is pr a pretty big range for a rating, but I'm just really not sure exactly how I feel about this group in general. Because, as I said, I hate the concept, but I want to like the group because it's a new girl group from SM, but there's so much stuff in relation to them that are SM's fault that make me just not want to like them. But I'm gonna try to keep an open mind, but if they incorporate the virtual member stuff in more than just like an aesthetic part of the music video, uh, it would really annoy me, honestly. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out the link to the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there, and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you end up enjoying my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to Patreon where you can pledge support and help keep the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine, you can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing and especially sharing this video with someone who you think might enjoy it. And I think that's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!